What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a multilingual website here in Wix. Now I know I've made this video before but I have had massive amounts of questions regarding it so I'm going to clear up finally all of those questions um, and hope to provide you the correct answers and solutions. Um, as far as the paid membership I know that's the other uh, huge massive question up in the air right now. Uh, I actually just got off a podcast call today, Thursday evening. Make sure you check it out, wixmywebsite.com. And uh, it's actually with someone, Mr. Community, who works with Wix. Um, so I'm going to, or I talked to him and uh, discussed, you know, when Wix codes come out, if we have the option yet. Um, and we, we're still working on an option. So guys, bear with me on that. Um, but, you know, when I get that, as soon as I get that solution, I will make sure I post that video uh, so that way you guys have that resource. Um, but before we do that, guys, make sure you come check out wixmywebsite.com. Make sure you get on this weekly Wix tips email list. Um, the people love it. Uh, I love being able to help them and be part of that community with them. Um, I appreciate you know everyone that's already on these weekly Wix tips email list. It's helping tons of people. Uh, and speaking of community, get involved on the forum here um, and check out the blog. And then guys, also I have my services page. Um, so if you guys have uh, questions as far as web design or you'd like me to design your website, uh, I have multiple different services here such as web design consulting, uh, monthly maintenance, um, website reviews, but if you are interested in having me build or design your website, come to full web design build or partial web design build and schedule a free consultation, complimentary of me, and then we could discuss your project, discuss more about you, and go ahead and get you a quote and get you started and work together. Other than that, guys, let's hop into today's video, which is showing you how to design a multilingual website here in Wix. We're just going to use this random platform or this random template, graphic design template. We're going to open it up. Now, guys, I want you to know, if it sounds like I'm being kind of stern in this video, um, it, it's because I am, because I want to make sure I drive home this whole multilingual um, website idea to you. Um, and I want to make sure it registers and you fully understand. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to add apps. Once we do that, we're going to type in here Wix language, and then you'll see it pop up, Wix language menu. You'll click that. You'll then click, as soon as it loads, add to site. Once we add it, it pops up this little banner with the two languages on here. Now in this case, it's English and Spanish, and that's what we will use for this example video. However, you may have two completely different languages, maybe German and Dutch, or Italian and Spanish, or Italian and German, anything like that. However you have it set up or you want it set up, that's how you do it, with whatever languages you want. The next thing is, we will click on the settings. When we get into the settings, you'll see the first step is duplicate pages. So let me explain something to you guys. If you are translating your entire website, you need to duplicate every single page on your website and translate each of those pages for the correct languages. So you need one English or whatever language and one Spanish or whatever language um, for each page. So you have an English homepage, Spanish homepage. English portfolio page, Spanish portfolio page. And you need to make sure that is done. So you need to duplicate every single page. Now, if you're only going to decide to duplicate and translate a few pages, then you need to only duplicate and translate those pages that you want done. Um, however, in most cases, when people are creating a multilingual website, they're duplicating the entire uh, website and creating um, both versions of English or Spanish or whatever your respective languages are. So once you duplicate your pages, you'll press done. And then as I just mentioned, after you duplicate, you need to make sure you translate each of those pages. Just so you know, to duplicate a page, you come up here to the page menu or page manager. You'll click these three bars next to the page and you'll come down and press duplicate. I will do it to show you guys. And then bam, you'll see it says copy of portfolio. I'll name it Spanish portfolio. So now we have our home, our English portfolio page and our Spanish portfolio page. I'll go back to the English one. Now that you have those duplicated, you come back here and translated. Again, you have to translate them. You'll press done. Here we go. Here's the part that a lot of people get tripped up on. Create a new site menu. 
You can see right here, it says remove your existing site menu from the pages you've translated and use the buttons to create a new one. Let me show you how to do that. So when it says remove your existing menu from your website, uh, your menu is right here. I'll just add a new one in there for you. This is what your traditional menu looks like right here. That's what it looks like. A lot of you are trying to keep this menu here on one homepage, so like on your English homepage and not on your Spanish. That is not how this translation uh, works for the Wix language menu. You need to go ahead and delete this menu and what we need to do is create a button menu. To do that, we're going to come here, we're going to press add, you're going to go to button and you need to create and use a button design that you're okay with having on each and every single one of your pages on your website. We'll just click this one for right now. You get this, you need to create a button for every single page in your respective language. So you're going to have an English homepage with English buttons. And you're also going to have those buttons listed on each and every single one of your translated pages. So what you need to do is make sure you create um, a button for each of your pages in that particular language. So let's just say we have a, a homepage. And then to make this easier, you're going to press Command C or Control C and then Command V or Control V to copy and paste. Now that you've got these two right here, we'll just say we have a home page and a portfolio page, okay? So we're going to name this home, and we're going to go ahead and name this portfolio. Excellent. We've got those two. Now I'm going to do something here that's going to make your life a billion times easier. To group elements, so that way you can copy and paste them onto each page easily, you're going to click off next to the item but not on it. You're going to hold drag over the two elements you want, let go, and then it says group elements. Now you can move these two elements together. You need to go ahead and add the same thing on, we'll just call this, we'll pretend this is a portfolio page. And you guys will notice something. Uh oh, wait, it already shows up. Perfect. This is what I wanted to show you. So we need to go back to the home page. You notice when I clicked on about, this same menu showed up. However, that's going to be an issue because you can't have your English menu showing up on your Spanish home page. To get rid of this issue, you need to click here on your button and you need to check this off. Click off, show on all pages. Make sure it's off. Do that for each of your buttons. Off. Go ahead. Regroup them up. Press group elements, bam, now you're set, they're off. If we go back to the about page, they're gone. And now all we have to do is hit command V or control or command C or control C and then go ahead and paste it right there. So now you have your English home page with the buttons and you have your English portfolio page with the buttons. Like I said, you need to do this for each language's pages. So what happens is you have your English set of pages. Each of those pages will have this button menu. You need to copy and paste this button menu into the header on each of those pages. Make sure this is checked off. Show on all pages. Once you do that, you're set and ready to go. Now, the other huge question I've gotten is, well, wait, what if I have a sub page in my menu? How do I add a sub button? Great question. And though it is not aesthetically pleasing, um, it's how Wix does this right now. To add a sub button, you need to go to add, go to button, and then the easiest way for me to tell you is to literally create a sub button. Just put it under your main page that your sub page is on, and then bam, you have a sub button. Add it to your group here, group your elements, bam. Now you've got a sub button added. Again, you need to do this for each page in each language. Although, of course, keep your English pages an English menu, button menu, and your Spanish pages a Spanish button menu, or again, whatever respective language you have. Once you add your button menu to the correct pages, you'll go back here, press settings, and then you'll press done. Perfect. Now, here comes a very important step. Add your languages. Go. So first things first, you'll see right here, 
you have the ability to change languages and add languages. So you could add as many languages as you want, but important note, if you add another language and that way you have three languages on there or even four, you have to translate all of those pages each time for each language. Now, you'll see right here, in this case we're using English and Spanish. So I have to go ahead and press this edit button to add the English homepage. In this case, it was just portfolio, regular portfolio. The reason this is important, you press save, and then you go to Spanish. I'll explain why it's important in a second. Now, Spanish, or whatever respective language you have, and remember we duplicated that, and we named it Spanish Portfolio. So this is the Spanish homepage, save. The reason this is important is because when uh, you click either the English or Spanish icon here, it will change them to that home page and then from that home page they'll be on like a whole almost like a whole different website all in Spanish because you'll have your Spanish button menu on each page and you'll have your Spanish content or vice versa you'll have your English content and your English button menu or Italian German French uh, Dutch wh whatever language um, and you'll have that content right there uh, so you need to make sure that's important and these are correct and set to the correct home page the other reason this is important is because this right here, redirect settings. So my default language is English, so the default language of my website is English. However, you have language redirect options right here. This first one is by far the easiest and most effective, and I recommend all of you do this. However, I'll explain your options. So you'll see automatically redirect all visitors by their language. If we see the little check mark, it says every visitor who reaches your site will automatically be redirected to your homepage in their language based on their browser settings. What this means is if you have someone from Italy going onto your website and their browser settings are in Italy and you have an Italian homepage on your website, they'll automatically be uh, redirected to the Italian homepage instead of even going to your English homepage and having to click this button. So it'll be like they never even knew there was an English version. It's just perfectly already tailored into their language. So that's that. That's how you that's why that's so effective in my opinion. Then you have the option to automatically redirect visitors to your homepage by their language. This means it'll automatically go to your website homepage um, based off of which language they're in. So if you have a Spanish homepage, it'll go to the Spanish homepage and you're still set that way. Um, however, it's still easier to automatically redirect all visitors by their language. And then the last option is no redirect and visitors can choose their language by themselves by clicking on this banner. I do not recommend this, especially because this banner is there anyway. So even if they do uh, are redirected based off their language and they want a different language, they could click it on the banner. These banner buttons link to each language's homepage. Again, that's why the button menu is so important. That's why the individual homepages are so important. So I recommend choosing automatically redirect all visitors by their language. And then you have the design. This is simply the design of this banner right here. This is completely up to you. Totally your design. So anyway, I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, again, uh, the, these are the language menu settings. Uh, if this video did, please drop me a like down below. Comment if you have any questions at all. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert. With that being said, don't forget to go check out WixMyWebsite.com. Get on those weekly Wix tips email list. Uh, join the community. And also, don't forget to go check out that services page. And if you guys would like me to design your multilingual website, I'd be more than happy to do that. And you could go ahead and schedule a free consultation with me so we could discuss your project, learn more about you, and go ahead and um, you know determine a quote from there and take it from there and start working together. Uh, other than that, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope that this more in-depth type of video helped you out. Um, I hope I cleared up some of your frustrations and, uh, um, you know, confusion behind this whole multilingual website thing. Um, if I did, uh, thank you. I'm glad I could. Uh, and remember to drop a like and comment if you have any questions at all. I'd be more than happy to help you. Thank you guys again, and I will catch you on the next video.